Jason LaDuke here with more tips for managing up. Why? Because you guys are asking for them. We see you searching on the topic. We see you watching our old video from a couple years ago about managing up. Great video. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. But we're here to give you some more tips about managing up. First, let's talk about what managing up is because we didn't do that in the last video. So let me do it here. Managing up, according to Urban Dictionary, is dealing with your boss in a way that lets you and your team do your work with minimal interference. Now, if you're approaching managing up this way, I think you're not setting yourself up for success. What we really wanna be doing is we wanna be building a strong relationship based on trust with our boss. Managing up starts long before your boss comes to you with an idea that you don't think is great or you wanna make a pitch to your boss. You wanna build that relationship of trust early with your boss so that when the time comes to do some managing up, it's already there and in place. Our other tips will help you do that. In addition to building a strong relationship with your boss, you wanna start thinking strategically. You wanna understand your organization's goals and objectives from a strategic perspective. What's the big picture that your organization is trying to accomplish? That way, when your boss comes to you with an idea you don't think is great, you can say, how does this fit our larger strategic objectives? See what I did there? Give that a try sometime. Your results may vary. Also, in addition, to thinking strategically, you wanna understand what your boss's priorities are. Remember, your boss has a lot of folks and probably a lot of teams like yours working for him or for her. So we need to be able to put our proposals in the context of what their most important priorities are. If we're not putting it in terms of their priorities, they're probably not gonna go our way. So always be thinking about that. What are your boss's priorities are? How does what you're proposing fit into those priorities? Also, very important, understand how your boss makes decisions. There are a lot of different ways and a lot of different factors that go in decision making and bosses are always thinking about them and, and balancing them in different ways. So if your boss is a data guy, make sure that you're supporting your arguments with data. If your boss is someone who's concerned with how will we look in the media, how will we look to our customers, how will we look to our vendors, make sure that you are talking to your boss, communicating to your boss, in ways that represent that. Remember, it doesn't matter how we think they should make the decision, it matters how they're going to make the decision based on their own decision-making process. So we wanna to speak to them in that language. Finally, always be thinking about the impacts to others. It's those others that the boss is gonna be thinking about when we're making a pitch, they're gonna be thinking about how is it going to impact other teams? How is it going to impact a larger organization? How is it going to impact our customers, our vendors, the community, that kind of thing. So always be thinking about when you're pitching something or pushing back on your boss, managing up a little bit, what are the impacts and how can those impacts be mitigated? And if they're positive impacts, how can they be amplified? Okay, I hope that was helpful. If it was, please like, comment and share and send it to someone who you think could use it. We would love that. If you have questions or comments, slide in my DMs. I don't mind. Great to have you here. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you developing your leader's mindset onward and upward.